how and when to file ISF for BATS. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to discuss an important topic in the realm of customs brokerage, how and when to file an importer security filing, ISF, for BATS. If you're involved in the importation of goods, this video will provide you with valuable insights and guidance on navigating the ISF process effectively. So, let's get started. The ISF, also known as the 10 plus 2 rule, is a mandatory requirement imposed by U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, for importers to provide specific information about the cargo being imported before it arrives in the United States. This initiative aims to enhance national security by ensuring that CBP has access to crucial details about incoming shipments. VATS being a commodity subject to certain regulations and restrictions, require importers to file an ISF. By submitting accurate and timely information, importers can help CBP assess potential risks and expedite the clearance process. The ISF for BATS must be filed no later than 24 hours before the cargo is loaded onto the vessel, bound for the United States. It's crucial to adhere to this deadline to avoid penalties, shipment delays, and potential disruptions in your supply chain. There are two ways to file an ISF, either directly through the automated broker interface, ABI, system or by engaging the services of a licensed customs broker. While the former requires specific technical knowledge and access to the system, the latter allows you to rely on the expertise of professionals who specialize in customs clearance processes. When filing the ISF for BATS, you will need to provide details such as the buyer's and seller's information, the manufacturer's name and address, the country of origin, the HTSUS code, the container stuffing location. In certain cases, exemptions or variations may apply when filing an ISF for BATS, depending on the nature of the shipment and specific circumstances. It's advisable to consult with a licensed customs broker or CBP to determine the appropriate requirements for your particular situation. Failure to comply with ISF regulations can result in severe consequences, including monetary penalties and shipment holds. It is in your best interest as an importer to ensure timely and accurate filing to avoid these potential issues. And that's a wrap on our discussion about how and when to file an importer security filing, ISF, for BATS. We hope that this video has shed light on the important process of ISF filing and provided you with valuable insights. Remember, it's crucial to maintain compliance with customs regulations to ensure smooth customs clearance and avoid unnecessary delays or penalties. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on customs brokerage and international trade. Thank you for watching, disclaimer note below and stay tuned for our upcoming content.